everybody, it's that time again for views from the coop with a cheerful point of view to help your spirit through. Shining so bright with views from the coop With a cheerful point of view To help your spirit through <laughs> Oh, hello, happy Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays Whenever you're looking at this And you're looking at me right now I am Connie I am that little lady who channels Miss Lillian The chicken lady at Dollywood As most of you know by now and so every Sunday, we're so excited to still bring you excerpts from my book, Healing Rhymes for Humankind. Well, what do you know? There's little chicken, little junior, my little companion at Dollywood, always giving little uh, chicken blessings for people. And uh, that's a blessing we give to all our neighbors, which brings us to this special day. Did you know that May the 16th today and the 17th, I believe, too, is National do something good for your neighbor day. How wonderful is that? That should be every day, shouldn't it? One thing we love to hear about are random acts of kindness, and boy, I see that every day where I am. I have neighbors from all over the world that visit us at the park. But one thing I really love about this message today is that it reminds us that we can be angel neighbors for each other. I think we're all in training for that, don't you? And uh, this book has uh, little kind of poetic stories in it from things I have been through and, and uh, that helped me uh, stay joyful at this time of my life in particular. And uh, my Mr. Prince helps me with that, of course. We thank him. You know, he does all of these wonderful videos for us. This poem on page 168, To an Anonymous Angel. That's the best kind, isn't it? When you have angel friends that surprise you. I get that a lot. I'm so grateful. Angels earn their wings in a variety of ways. But I think the way of holy play is the kind who leave no name. Like the one who picked up lunch today. We really had this happen. I bet you have too. When we went to pay and we're told the ones ahead of us already kindly gave. <sighs> the sweetest people in this world. The kindness of the everyday is angel work on earth. No need for higher accolades when God knows your real worth. So to our angels with no name, who give no bow to fame, thanks for living God's reward, the gift of heaven's gain. Yes, it's those little acts of kindness that I think uh, my mother used to say is going to earn you a crown, a jewel in your crown one day. But we do it for the reason of the joy and love it brings you. So on this National Do Something Good for Your Neighbor Day, I'm thinking of hmm, the gentleman that inspired me through what I do. And I think a lot of y'all will remember him. You know what he'd say about being a good neighbor? So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, oh, I think we should say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Oh, won't you please? Please, won't you be? Mr. Rogers, we're really working to follow into your example. Happy Neighbor Day to you. And we'll do something special for someone you love every single day. And that's why we love to bring to you these healing rhymes. Healing rhymes for humankind. With sunbody views from the coop, we're here to bring lots of light. Happy angel work this week. 
May we join together in being that for someone else. Be the light. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Help us bring that to light today. That's my prayer. Thank you. Take a blessing.